Springs. Uh, it's it's a you've probably noticed a gorgeous day out there, so all of you uh, get extra kudos for being here. It's also clearly Cybersecurity Day, and not just for us. If you walked in, you might have seen this is there are two cybersecurity conferences going on in this building today. If you get confused, we're the cool one. Uh, so welcome, and welcome to everybody who is watching online. I would be very remiss, particularly on cybersecurity, uh, not to welcome everybody online. Uh, New America is about big ideas, bridging policy and technology, and broad public conversation. Bridging policy and technology, cibersecurity is our sweet spot, uh, and the, all the dimensions of cybersecurity. Broad public conversation, as you're going to see today, uh, we slice and dice cybersecurity in uh, lots of different ways, uh, including ways we think uh, will reach a broader audiences. Uh, we also do that uh, by, by working on cyber issues across the country, and I'm going to say a little more about that. Uh, and thinking essentially about videos uh, and different kinds of publication uh, to broaden this conversation. Cybersecurity is secure. Uh, and it needs to be security for everyone, and we think very hard about that. And the first thing I said was big ideas, uh, and that has been New America's hallmark uh, since we were founded in 1999. Uh, we aim not for the classic policy dialogue, which is often smaller ideas. I always said when I came to the State Department and people said, what's the difference between Washington and academia? I would say in academia, you're rewarded for big ideas uh, with only your name on them. And in Washington, you're rewarded for breaking big ideas into little ideas, ideas that you can push through the policy process uh, and convincing other people they thought of them, uh, which is a separate uh, conversation. Um, but the, w the way we're, p we're thinking today, and this is the first theme of our conference, uh, is securing the future cyberspace, right? We're really asking you to look forward a decade uh, and think about the cybersecurity challenges uh, that we're going to face 10 years from now, uh, not, not just today, not just a couple years from now. Uh, and a, a couple of weeks ago, we hosted Michael Daniel and the White House cybersecurity uh, team for a public event uh, at New America, rolling out the Cybersecurity National Action Plan. Uh, and then right after that, although I can't fully claim uh, all credit for this, uh, the Commission uh, for Enhancing Cybersecurity, led by Tom Donilon and Sam Palmisano, uh, was announced and asked to look forward 10 years. And so we're exactly uh, where that commission is, uh, and we, we hope we'll be feeding uh, ideas to them. So that's our first theme. Our second theme today is diversity and inclusion in the cybersecurity workforce. We take diversity very seriously in many different ways. So let me start with our cybersecurity initiative itself, which is a joint venture uh, between our international security program, and Ian Wallace uh, leads, uh, leads the initiative from the international security point of view, and the Open Technology Institute, and Ross Schulman leads it from that side. So to start with, we're bringing together the classic national security discourse, which as a foreign policy person, when you say national uh, cybersecurity in my world, you're thinking about government, you're thinking about uh, other countries hacking, you're thinking about national defense. But we bring that together with the Open Technologies Institute's focus on civilian cybersecurity, on commercial and consumer cybersecurity, on privacy, uh, on civil, civil liberties and civil rights. That's a conversation that has to happen. And I have to be honest, we don't always agree. That's the point. Uh, we often have a very robust internal debate. So we think about intellectual diversity, we think about geographic diversity and, and simply bringing as many different perspectives in. Um, here today for the first time we have our non-resident cybersecurity fellows 
uh, and they are from all over the country. Uh, and we've got fellows from North Dakota, uh, from Georgia, uh, from New Jersey, from California, uh, and they're all here. I actually, for those cybersecurity fellows who are here, can you just stand up for one second, just so everybody can see you? I'm not gonna ask you to introduce yourselves, but I encourage people to uh, get to, to seek, out, seek them out uh, and talk to them over the course of the day. Um, and indeed, we're already, uh, and through our cybersecurity fellows, issuing reports and articles uh, and uh, lots, and uh, we've got, in fact, a brand new graphic policy paper, uh, which I, well, I very much recommend. So that's the ways in which we're working on diversity that are not always included when we talk about diversity, but the theme today is also the ways in which we can engage more women in cybersecurity. Again, cybersecurity is security, and that means it's security for everyone, and having a particular group of people uh, own this space is not healthy commercially, it's not healthy in terms of security or privacy. Uh, so, th but thinking more broadly about women, uh, about minorities, about extending this conversation as broadly as our society uh, and our politics. And that is also about social justice. And that's one, the second theme of the conference uh, is diversity and inclusion, as I said, in the cybersecurity workforce. So we're going to explore those two themes today, uh, but we're, of course, also going to look at some very pressing issues that are in the headlines. Uh, we are uh, going to talk about grid security. We're going to talk about Apple uh, versus the FBI. Uh, and it, we're going to approach these issues from as broad a range of perspectives uh, as possible. We also have time uh, for you to get to know each other uh, in the, in the uh, networking space outside, uh, and we, that's a large part of this conference and the initiative, which is to build community. So let's get started, uh, and uh, I'm very pleased uh, to introduce as our opening speaker, who's going to uh, start talking about cyberspace and cybersecurity, Paul Nicholas uh, from Microsoft. Uh, Paul's a senior director at Microsoft, and he runs their global security strategy and diplomacy. And I just have to stop for a second and say again, as a foreign policy person, introducing someone from Microsoft with diplomacy in their title is a real sign of how this world is changing. Right? Again, from my traditional perspective, cybersecurity is for governments. Diplomacy is for governments. Not so. Cybersecurity is also for companies, it's also for civilians, and the diplomacy that is involved, whether that's working with very skeptical Europeans or governments uh, who have very different ideas about what security means, is for companies as well as governments. So with that, let me introduce Paul, uh, and let's get started. Thank you. <laughs> 